And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast, up against Unknown User. That is a great name. Zerg players always seem to have great names. He is a Blue Zerg in the Southwest. The map is Zelnaga Caverns, and I don't want to get you guys' hope up, but I, I do give myself a brief note before uh, when I saved the, the replay and I named this great game. I haven't had a chance to see it on the replay and I don't remember what happened to be honest with you. I do know the ultimate outcome but I don't remember how it happened. Um, so uh, hopefully this does turn out to be a great game and I don't lie to myself uh, when I save the replays. He is Oh my goodness, look at that APM. 55 APM. Not exactly sure where it's going now because, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's doing just about the same thing that I am. He's getting two drones at the same time, but that's pretty standard for Zerg players. Um, first drone going across, as is mine. His went out a little sooner than mine did. And that's pretty standard for uh, Zerg players to get theirs out a little bit sooner. I do believe that Terrans get theirs out this latest, and that is by design. I don't know why, though. Moving my SUV around, I'm not sure why I chose that side. I might not have, and you just chose it automatically. Spawning pool going up. Looks like that was a 14, hat, uh, 14 pool. Where is it, though? No. Oh. There it is. Oh, man. When it's a blue zerg, I have a hard time seeing the buildings. I'm not even going to lie. Drone out with a huge star pattern all over my base. I'm not exactly sure. that. Well, that's where the APM went. Look at that. But no. Oh, my goodness. I have 90 APM. Oh, three digits. What the hell? What am I doing? Not much. There we go. Orbital Command. Marine. And... Second Barracks. And now it goes way back down. What are we spinning on? Pretty much the same right now. One unit apiece for us. He does have two Zeloton on the field, it looks like. Yes, there they are. Uh, Baneling Nest coming up, so we should be seeing Banelings in this game. Oh, man, if you saw the last game, Banelings can screw you over so fast. And they did for me so many times. He's doing a much better job of spending his minerals early. No, no, I'm spending them, but, you know, pretty even. And he does have, oh, just popped out a lead on the Harvester count, which, of course, uh, Zerg players can get that done so quickly because they can train up to three at a time, even without the Queen. Um, now that the Queen is injecting, we should be seeing more production out of her. Three barracks going up for me. Pretty standard build. Once again, going with the three racks. Two supply depots, gonna finish off the block off, be and I did it as soon as possible because I was scared because he sent a drone in and kind of hung it around for a while. So, gonna get two more marines out as he gets ten zerglings. So, um, it looks like my block off is going to be well worth it. Zergling speed on the way, it's called metabolic boost. My first marauder out. And I, yeah, one Marine out in front because, oh, no, I save him. He had a death wish, but I talked him out of it. Engineering Bay going up. Stim pack being researched. One SUV just chilling out because he doesn't want to work anymore. Feels like he's done enough. And then up come the Zerglings. How many does he have out right now? 16. It looks like he split them. Uh, so seven there, one there. So eight come to my base straight away. And eight along for the right. And uh, Tess circling going up, so he does see the block off. And he's chilling out in my expansion. And this is not the first time I've seen that. Oh my goodness, gonna warp in some banelings. This could spell doom for me right now. That is not gonna be cool. Uh, Ten banelings. I believe they do 38 damage. Uh, so pretty much gonna knock off out. Now the rest of them are 
Uh, they do pop off. What is it? Uh, 35 damage, 20 not or 20 um, a piece to light. But of course, this is armor. Or sorry, 35 to light, 20 to armored. So he would need 20 of them just to knock off these supply depots. Uh, but the Zerglings should finish off the job that these 10 start. More Zerglings coming out. As I'm continually producing um, Marines and Marauders. Oh no, looks like I'm going to go for a push. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he's not even bothering to send his Banelings up. And here I run back inside... And I should, there we go, lift that off, lift that up. So what's he got now? Uh, 10 Banelings and 20 Zerglings. And all 20 of them, or 18 of them are there. And he is getting a Spire as well. Oh my, 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 my. Eight and a half minutes. Oh, there we go, I do move out. He doesn't send his Banelings in. I don't know why. They would have probably destroyed everybody here because I had to use a stim pack. And, but the Banelings are waddling, waddling, waddling all the way back to join their Zergling friends. They, know, they can't roll yet because uh, he hasn't researched how to roll. Um, he's only researched Tuck. No rolling yet. Uh, but he is working on it. And Spire popping out that's the funniest looking pop out building i love that one and more zerglings on the way i am trying to secure my expansion i do know that i probably need it sooner rather than later um factory's coming out for me as well but he's got his first mutas on the way because he got the banelings i they are going to be a little later uh than the straight muta harass and here he's going for the destructible rocks, going to try to take it out uh, so he can get the expansion there because he's already got an expansion here. Um, looks like, no, his is a little bit faster than mine. Looks like it. We were getting it at about the same time, but he is getting massive amounts of mutas. And it looks like I have stopped production on the infantry. There we go. Just picked it right back up. I am getting upgrades. Uh, already got the weapons one upgrade. Gonna go for the armor upgrade. I did finish everything at the tech labs on the barracks. So I am gonna transition here maybe into factor into siege tanks maybe eventually. Uh, but not right now. It looks like I'm gonna stick with the army. Even though I saw those banelings, which is a very stupid move for me. Uh, but it does look like he has stopped producing banelings, so it could work out for the best. He assumed I was going to go for a tech switch, and I did not. Um, I assumed that he was um, going to go... He, he thought that I was going to go for more siege tanks, but instead I still assume that he's going to be getting uh, the mutas. So I just put three out, though, because I'm not sure about it. And of course, um, <laughs> mutas can be seen here, and they can start harassing down here. Oh, I hate that about this map. Such a huge spot for anybody to fly in down here, away from the ramp. But still not far enough for you to hide them around the corner. He is uh, just chilling these guys here right now. Uh, massing the mutas looks like down here, as he's getting a third gas up. Um... Uh, but it does look like I still have the lead in the harvester count and in uh, mineral production. We're even on gas. Thanks to that mule, I am ahead in the minerals. And it looks like I've stopped producing. I should keep producing that. Too bad that I fall apart in the macro in the mid to late game. And here we go. Muta's coming in, and of course, where do they go? Right to this corner here. Gonna take out a tech lab because they don't want to see marauders. Oh no, kind of strange uh, thing for mutas to be attacking. I mean, I understand it for uh, the army in general, but here I send in a huge marine ball, and boom, there's missile turrets, and he is forced to run away. Any missile turrets here? No, so he will be able to take pot shots there. Of course, since I sent all my marines 
<laughs> that they're just slowly chasing me around, so I'm like, final stim up, and now then he's forced to run away, and I have wasted how many marines was that? 24, 26. So I wasted 260 HP chasing down mutas and wasn't able to kill a single one. But I was able to take, I still have the lead, I should say, in the unit's loss count uh, because I was able to take out all those zerglings um, when he was only able to take out a few marines and a couple marauders. Maybe just one marauder because they are, it uh, looks like one of each if I do my math properly. Still nothing coming out of those factories. They have been up forever. Uh, but I did get four... Uh, siege tanks, but I just have fallen behind, it looks like, in production. There we go. Um, getting the siege tanks, and then the marines and marauders. There we go. Catching back up. But I am supply locked now. You, why, why'd you stop? There you go. Get more. Unable to get any more upgrades there until I get an armory up. And I rarely get an armory, but this game has gone on long enough that I should be getting it 15 and a half minutes, and I still have this large army here. But I am scared to move out now because he has been harassing me. He does have map control. Uh, those mutas have scared me into my base, and he still has more out now. Four more just popping out for a total of 17 along with those nine banelings. When he saw how many... 